Lori's cousin and so first cousin. Yeah. So you're Lori's first cousin. And yes. what has this week been like for you being here in the courtroom? Um, it's been terrible, horrible. Um, good, like healing. It's giving us some kind of, um, what would you call that? Like the process, we're going through the process now and it's, it's feeling better that we're not just sitting and thinking about it ourselves. We're getting our own answers and we're getting to see I don't know and to see that this Lori isn't the Lori that we grew up with like it's a different a totally different person she's not so I can I feel like I'm saying goodbye to her like I'm done with her now I don't have to I don't have to think of her anymore you know it's she's not wow anything to me so it's like her, a funeral for Lori so, so when you go into bad. the courtroom and see her every day it, do you recognize her as the aunt or your cousin I do like especially when she looks over and makes eye contact and you kind of smile and she does a little mm, and you're like, uh -huh. well, you're, we're here for you, so it's kind of your fault. But it, it's, it's still hard because you still see her, and you think automatically, Lori. So you smile back, and then you're like, wait, I don't like you. You know, <laughs> you look away real quick. And I did a lot of that with Summer yesterday, where we both like we make eye contact with Lori, and then we look away and we don't, don't look. Because <laughs> you, that's the natural response to smile when yeah, someone smiles back. Yeah, we love her. Like we grew up with her, and she's a happy memory. You opted so. to view the autopsy photos. Okay, tell I me did. why. Um, I did it kind of in support of my sister because she wanted to also, but I I kind of wanted to do it to see for sure, like to know in my own head that that was them and they're gone. Like it's, like, like I said, with a funeral, like you would do that at a funeral, you want to say goodbye to the body. And I don't know that we'll get that chance anytime soon. We've been waiting for a very long time, so. Memorials aren't the same, so I wanted to see it to know that it's not them anymore. And what was that like? Horrific. I'm really glad they didn't show those pictures. They shouldn't be out in the public. People shouldn't have to see that. And I'm very grateful for all the people that are going through this process that have to view these things and that are willing to testify about it. Just some of these experts, like they had to spend so much time on these horrible, horrible things. And I hate that for our family that we have to go through it, but that this is rippling into other people's lives. And that's just, it's horrible. So I'm grateful that they gave us a chance to see them, but that they didn't make it public for everybody. I think that was good. Anything you want to add? Um, well, I'll quote my dad, like, thank you so much to everybody. Like, this has been really interesting to see all the people involved. Cause you don't hear that on the news. Like I know, you're here and you're covering it and I know that there's the prosecutor and I know there's the defense but I get them confused all the time sure. but this is all everyone's real now and seeing things it's just really it's overwhelming how many people are involved in correcting this kind of horrible thing so and not only that but the followers are from all over the world all over the world Uncle Rex has been talking about that look there's someone from South Africa there's yeah. someone from Australia and he's just it's really become more of a positive thing. Before we were scared of the media and the fallout. People have a lot of comments to make about things when they don't know. And now that we've been here and seen some of the good things that can come from it, it's like, okay, well, everyone's grieving. Let's all grieve together. <laughs> That's what, do you think that, what should happen to your cousin, Lori? Um, I hope justice to the best of their ability I'd like to serve. Like, I don't... I don't know what the options are, but I, I don't think she should be out on the streets with normal people. And since death is off the table, then, I mean, it's gonna be up to God what happens to her. And I think that's gonna be more satisfying to us than anything that could happen here. What did you think of today? Today was rough. I've been here, this is my third day and it was the roughest of the three days. Are you glad you didn't have to see the photos? Um, I think I would have been okay with the photos, but since they gave me the choice and I could opt out, I opted out. I was glad because for a while there, I was barely holding it together. So if I would have tried to see the photos in, I, for me to deal with that, I have to disassociate myself that what I'm seeing is Tylee or JJ. You know, if I put those two together, I can't handle it. Repeat what you said earlier uh, about how this has kind of been... Um helpful for you to be here with your daughters it really has well especially these daughters well all four of my daughters i'm here with three of them this is how we deal with it we process we talk to each other even though we're long distance 
um, we process. So being here together is really a great experience for us. Being in the courtroom, seeing how it all works, and we just process all we process during lunch. We go back, we had a, a rental house, and we just sat down in the living room and processed in the evening. That's how we try to deal with this incredible tragedy. And you mentioned, we talked yesterday, but you saw comments from all over the world of people yes, sending did. their well wishes to you. Yeah, and Nate, your, your outreach and the people that respond to you is just such a wonderful healing part of this.